fact, it's been six years since he left the Dales, and last night, bad boy Ross Barton made a shocking return. Stay soft on your feet, yeah? Protect that injury and do it for your family. Do it for Rocky, yeah? Good lad, good lad. Oh, my God. Amazing. Michael Parr, who plays Ross, joins me now. Did you watch that at home last night, your big return or not? No, I didn't see it last night because we were on the train coming down to London, but I've been tagged in clips online and I was quite pleased with what I saw. I thought you it said looked your great. phone had blown up last night when the, when the episode went out. Yeah, my Instagram, WhatsApp, everyone messaging me saying, you know, welcome back and stuff. It, it felt good. It felt good. Now, listen, are you set to cause trouble? I suppose the answer is obvious. Yeah, chaos. Yeah. Pure chaos. Yeah, it's been it's been good fun. Ross is such a fun character to play because he he just knows where to poke people and he's a bit of a menace and yeah he he can he, he can adapt to other people's storylines. You can put him into many other people's. Yes, he's got his know, fingers in lots of pies. He does, hasn't he? He does. Um, and we see your son in the episode, don't we? Could Ross be back for charity? Well, there's certainly going to be drama there, and they've got a long history, but um, she's not the main reason he comes back. Uh, it's Moses that, you know, he wants to be in his life, but when you put Ross and Charity together, there's always going to be trouble. Yeah, and listen, you come in fighting, as we saw, and that is something that you've been able to bring from your own personal life into the show, isn't it? Because you massive into it. Is it Thai boxing? Is this what we're seeing you do here? Yeah, that, uh, that's not a very good clip. <laughs> <laughs> Look, better, ones, there. better ones, please. Um, but yeah, it is my it is my favourite sport. I've been doing it for quite a long time. I'm not really into like team sports. I prefer like the one on one like tennis or martial arts. But Muay Thai and training at the Bad Company Gym in Leeds, which is really close to the studios, it's it's perfect for me. And so, is this a sort of coincidence that your character is this big, or is that partly because they knew you were? It's you can do it. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know if. They wrote that in because they knew I could do it. I don't think they did because other people have had like similar storylines. I think it's just one of those things that it just lends itself to, you know, me being able to do it. So now they're making the most of it. Yeah, and we've got an exclusive look at tonight's episode. Ooh. Should we do that? Let's yeah. see. You're leaving here in a body bag. Right, no kicks, elbows, grappling, and no biting. Any of that, and you're out. Let's go. What took you so long? Is that Ross? Now, knuckles up. Fight! <laughs> Can't do that. This is going to turn into a bloodbath. Well, how do we stop it? Oh, it's all a bit brutal, isn't it? Yeah, really, I didn't realise at the time, but it reminds me of a snatch with Brad Pitt when he, when he gets yes. head up before the fight starts. Yes. Yeah. Listen, how does it feel to be back after six years away? The, I mean, the first word that comes to my mind is I'm just grateful, yeah. you know, to be to be working the acting industry with the writer strikes. It never really bounced back after COVID. It was just, you know, yes. get, getting going again. And it's there's a lot of actors out of work, so I just feel grateful to have a job at the minute, to be honest. Yeah. But Emmerdale is such a fun place to work because everybody's really nice. And are you different now as a person to the one who started in Emmerdale in your 20s? Is it different coming back? Are you, in your life, a different sort of person? Oh, yeah. Like, when I first got the job, it was all about, like, being in the nightclubs and now it's much more about bedtime teas and getting an early night. I'm not in the, I'm not the same person at, at all. Because you've just really. grown up, I suppose, in that time well, outside of... Outside of the show. Yeah, well, it was 11 years ago, you yeah. know, like your mid 20s, like now as I approach 40, you know, it, it would it would be really sad if I was trying to be in the club, in my opinion. Anyway, <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with the people who still want to do it, but I've just, I've got all that out of my system now. And how is it now, I mean, with sort of social media and things like that? Because I suppose, you know, as you say, your phone was blowing up and stuff. Do you feel sort of that you want to immerse yourself back in that world again of being in social media and all of that sort of thing? Or are you a bit more sceptical about it? It's a, it's a really hard relationship to navigate. I want to, I want to be involved because one, I think it's beneficial to my career to have a social media presence i want to i don't want to ignore the fans of the show that yeah. have helped you know boost my profile and you know and, and i never get anything negative online it's very rare that i do so i don't want to ignore people but then also the negative aspect is that i find myself being addicted to it and i you know i'm constantly searching for my phone and looking for validation from people that i, d I don't really know 
So it's a really hard relationship to, to navigate. And I think it has its positives, but for me, it has its equal negatives. So it's, it's, a, it's a hard one to, to negotiate that I haven't quite figured out how to do yet. Yeah, and one of the positives, of course, perhaps, is that you've been called a heartthrob and a soap hunk. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you win an award for that? I did win an award for that, <laughs> sponsored by Iceland in 2013. <laughs> and long, that feels like a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's weird because, you know, I never wake up and look in the mirror and go, oh yeah, heartthrob. <laughs> so it's weird when other people call me it, but it's, ultimately I'm very grateful and humble. Yeah, lovely stuff. And you're back in Emmerdale tonight at 7.30 on ITV1. And it is great to have you back on the TV screens on, a, on a regular much. basis. Good to see you.